Oh, have we got any talcum powder somewhere? Oh man, it's just ridiculously hot. I'm beginning to see the benefit of having talcy balls. Where to your mother? My name's Steve, this channel is Frags to Riches and thank you for tuning in. I love you for doing so. You know, like a friendly uncle. Today's video is not for niche snobs. So if you are, you might as well stop watching now, hit the back button and find something else. To be honest, this video is not for designer snobs. This video is not for any kind of fragrance snob at all, because I'm going back to my basics and this is the cheapy, cheap list of Cheapsville, okay? So this started out, I was originally planning on doing my top five most like best value fragrances, kind of regardless of their price, what, what offers the best value? What are you getting for your money? So I started off with that in, in mind, but then when I ended up with three winter tobacco fragrances, I thought, well, that's kind of a bit pointless, really. That's not necessarily gonna help anybody. So then this evolved into like my top five best value fragrances, but like a budget edition. And with these five fragrances, these are the only fragrances you're gonna need. They cover all bases, all situations, with some overlap so it doesn't matter if you're going to the club going to the office or getting an enema i've got a fragrance for you okay so bear that in mind this list is for poor people this is for people that are having pot noodles for dinner like students people at college this list is for you if it's not for you you're probably not going to enjoy this so much Normally I do not include clones when I do kind of budget cheap lists because, well it's cheating isn't it to be fair, like you know, anybody can find a great fragrance just then make it cheaper by getting a clone. So I don't normally do that but I'm foregoing that rule that I've set myself today because I want this to be the best value list for poor people basically regardless. So there are some great clones out there that offer amazing value kind of for what you get. If you get amazing smell, amazing performance, and it's a clone, but it's still cheap, then this is for you. Basically, I need to emphasize that. So I don't want people kind of moaning or having a go, or, you know, just hit back. Don't hit dislike, just stop watching and go back and watch something else. Right, now I've declared that, let's get into this list proper. The first fragrance on the list is gonna be your daily driver, your Swiss Army knife, your Dunreach. This is going to be your kinky girlfriend that likes to dress up, because it will be whatever you want it to be. It doesn't matter if it's gonna be the work, gym, office, dates, it doesn't matter, this is gonna fit the bill. This is your dumb reach. It might not excel in all of those situations, but it's never gonna be out of place. That's the thing. And that fragrance is gonna be Cyrus Writer. So this, for those of you that you know are fairly sharp, you may already realize that this is a clone of Dior Sauvage. And it looks really nice. It's got a great bottle. It even comes with a metallic cap, which is just, I mean, what more do you want? Because the best thing about this, this costs 20 pounds, 20 pounds for 100 mil. And this is the best Jaw Sauvage clone that I have tried. I'll link down, I've done a full review of this and compared a couple of others, and I'll link the video below. This is a great clone and it performs really well. It performs almost as good as the original Dior Sauvage. I'll easily get two to three hours projection and seven hours longevity quite comfortably. So this is not far short of the original and 20 pounds for 100 mil, this is great, great value. Now, those of you that watch the channel for quite some time, you'll know that I'm not actually the biggest Dior Sauvage fan. Now, I don't dislike it, I just never really got the hype. I think it's a solid fragrance, but I'm not the biggest fan. I mean, I prefer Bleu de Chanel, the UDP, for example, but I can't deny the results this gets. This fragrance, to me, is like Lewis Hamilton. Like, I do not like him, I think he's arrogant, but I can't deny he gets the job done and he gets results. So, yeah, I, I can't knock this. This is, this is the one that's gonna be the centerpiece to your fragrance of these top five cheapies and you can work everything around this because this is your dumb reach. So yeah, this is, this is your Lewis Hamilton and it's your kinky girlfriend. So I guess it's, this is a, a kinky Lewis Hamilton. The next fragrance on the list is gonna be our summer banger. We need something when there's high heat, basically like today. I've recorded this in the hottest day of the year. It needs to be high heat, 
or a summer holiday fragrance by the pool, by the beach. So we need something that's clean, that's fresh. The advantage of this is it can also overlap to become a gym scent as well. So again, it gives us some flexibility in our five fragrances. And that fragrance is gonna be Azaro's Chrome Sport. This fragrance, I got 100 mil for 20 pounds. I think you can get uh, 50 mil for about 15 pounds, but I went for the 100 mil and I'm so glad I did. In short, this smells like Versace's Mano Fresh. It is, I did just spray some. It is lovely. It opens up with this lovely citrusy burst. There's some bergamot and grapefruit, but I get a lot of lemon. Lemon is the main one for me, and that lemon hangs around. And there's some aquatic notes in the mid and in the base. There's some cedar, there's some musk and amber. So once it dries down, it's this very soft, clean fragrance, uplifted with that lemon, which always kind of hangs around to my nose. So that's why this is a great summer high heat fragrance, and it also can go, be used in the gym. So yeah, 20 pounds for 100 mil, Zara Chrome Sport is a banger. So the next fragrance on the list is going to be our signature scent worthy, versatile fragrance. It's gonna be really good for the office. So that's the main purpose of this. It's gonna be good for any kind of work situation because it's clean and it's fresh. But similarly, it's gonna work really well in summer and high heat. It's gonna work well in spring and into the autumn because it's just a clean, fresh fragrance. And you can then take it to the gym as well and wear it in the gym after work. So this, again, can offer some versatility so we can somehow swap this out with Cyrus Writer and we don't have to get bored. But this is a lovely, clean, fresh work fragrance and that is Xenia's Womo. As I've said, this is really clean, really fresh. It opens up with some nice citrusy notes and there's a violet leaf in there as well, which really kind of contrasts so well with the citrus, it really does. And in the base, there's some cedar and some vetiver as well, because just to give it a kind of like manly base, which is still sort of clean and fresh using that vetiver. So this is why this is a great inoffensive work slash office fragrance, which would still work well in kind of summer and in the gym. So yeah, this is kind of, again, a great overlap fragrance in case we're ever getting bored of some of the others. Can't recommend this enough for the value. You can get 50 mil for 15 pounds or 100 mil for 20 pounds. So again, great, great value for such a versatile, such a good smelling fragrance. Can't recommend it enough, that's Xenia's Buomo. Okay, so far on our list, we've got our clean, fresh, summery type fragrances for the office, for the gym, for the heat but we need to sexy it up a little bit. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. We need something for when there's date nights or when it's a little bit cooler weather. We want something that's a bit richer, a bit kind of more alluring, a bit more appealing. Now, for those situations, I fucking love Tom Ford's Noir Extreme. It is an absolute banger. I fell in love with this fragrance the moment I smelled it. I love the mandarin note at the top, which not many people seem to get, but I do love mandarin, so I'm sort of quite sensitive to it. I love that, and in the base there's this kind of tobacco accord, but even though there's no tobacco in this. And it's just this, and it, it's sweetened with the vanilla, and it's a creamy vanilla because there's coffee as well. So it's just a really nice, kind of sexy fragrance. But it's obviously way too expensive to be on our list. But this is where we step in with Perfume Parlors, version of Noir Extreme. Now, originally, when I bought this version, it was called Noir Extreme 1260. They've since changed the name, so it's now called Intense Black for Men 1260. Okay, so that's the name of it now. I've got the oil version of this, I've got the spray, and as you can see, I've got the original. This is so close to the original, and it performs really well, and it smells so good. A lot of perfume parlor fragrances, well, some of them have a kind of synthetic kind of powdery accord at the top. This doesn't, it just smells great and it lasts and it performs. I really recommend this. When I first wore this and then went and met my wife and I didn't tell her and she said, mm, somebody smells nice, is it you? So, and then some other people around me said the same thing as well. So for the value for money for this, again, is brilliant. As I said, I don't normally do um, clones on my cheap list because it's cheating, but this, like, this is an absolute banger. I have to, from a value for money point of view, if you're a poor student, this can easily be your cheap date night fragrance that's gonna get you results. So, Perfume Parlor, you've got loads of options, but I think this 50 ml bottle is around about 12 quid from memory, I'll probably put it on the screen. Um, so yeah, it's great value. So yeah, I highly recommend 
their version of Noir Extreme, which is intense black for men, 1260. Right, so we've got our sexy, alluring date night fragrance, which also kind of works well in sort of autumn, winter as a sort of daily wear. There's no harm in that. Even if you wore it on a cold day to the office, you're gonna get kind of results and you're gonna get compliments, but you're not necessarily gonna offend anybody. It's a lovely, lovely fragrance. So again, that's gonna be great for the cooler weather and for date nights. So we also need a winter fragrance, like a proper cold winter fragrance. That's not necessarily date night, but it's just something to wear when you're outside in the cold. Um, and that fragrance is gonna be Zara's Rich Warm Addictive. This fragrance offers great value for money. So it is basically tobacco and honey. And oh man, I forgot how good that was. And it is just this sweet, rich tobacco, which is delightful. So this is gonna work really well on those really cold days when you're working outside. But I mean, I when I first got this, I wore this and I thought, I love this smell, but I just don't know when, you know, if it works. I don't know, I, as much as I love the smell, I don't know if I love to smell of it. But then, when I wore this in a really cold, kind of autumnal walk with the dogs, it was really cold, sort of quite bitter, and this was just so rich and warming, and it smelled so nice. That's when this clicked for me. So this could work really well on those really cold winter days and when you're snuggling with your wife. So this is great, but again, you have also got that Cyrus writer to overlap to kind of give you some flexibility in those sort of winter days as well, because it would still work. So yeah, but this is gonna be your kind of snuggle fragrance, your cold warming fragrance when you just, you know, you need to feel good in the really cold conditions. And it's great, great value for money. So this is like 100 mil for like 12 pounds, 12 or 14 pounds. And the best thing is, you don't even have to blind buy, just go into a Zara and give it a smell. So yeah, highly recommend, great value for money, Zara's Rich Warm Addictive from their tobacco collection. So that's it. We've got a five fragrances, which I think covers nearly every situation with some overlap. I'm so pleased with this list. I hope you are too. So in total, this comes to like 75 pounds spend. Now what I recommend you do is spend another five pounds and get some travel atomizers. So for the ones that don't come to necessarily perform as well as some of the others, so maybe the Azara Chrome, you might need to reapply that and maybe a Zenya Womo, basically those freshies you can just get a travel atomizer and just top up at lunch or something like that. So, I hope you found this, this useful. As I say, this is for a relatively small collective of poor people. This is not for everybody. So, I hope you found it um, useful. If you have, please hit like, comment, and subscribe, and kind of, you know, please subscribe if you haven't done so already, because it's helping me reach the next thousand subscribers. Without further ado, thank you for watching, and I will see you for the next one. Much love.